projet était un peu ambitieux vu de loin comme ça. On, on, au début, on s'est dit ouais, ça va être un peu, ça risque d'être un peu chaud. Uh, you know, so many people have a, an idea to do something and never do, and Dave's taken his idea and really run with it. Faire un trek de, de deux semaines plus gravir le Mont Blanc. On s'est dit, ouais, bon, effectivement, c'est un musicien, est-ce qu'il va être capable de, de faire ça Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas, je ne veux pas perdre un band member sur une mountain, pour être honnête. Je ne peux pas faire sans ça, c'est une très importante partie de notre so. When I first sort of started doing, you know, shows, like when I first joined Arco, it was like 10 years ago, I had the same sort of feeling that I have now in a way. It was very, you know, uh, and sort of that butterflies thing in, in your gut, you know, um, sort of a bit of churning in your stomach. But once you, you know, you kind of get into something then it sort of then it becomes more confident and it stay it stabilizes itself because you become more confident in what you're doing um so it's kind of what i can compare it to to big shows that we do and you know even when we do little shows and sometimes i get nervous sometimes i don't it depends how confident i'm feeling or what kind of you know routine you're in when you're really locked into a routine you, you just become so focused that you forget about the nerves because you're so focused on what you're doing but like i say it's hard to get focused on something you've never done before in a way so but you have a good mind which i'm trying to keep and you know it's uh yeah it's kind of hard to compare but it just means something's going to happen so that's what the nerves are in a way so Before then, I had to prepare everything, so I picked all my stuff up um, when I was in London and then uh, got it all back on the train. And then, yeah, I spent some time with uh, my family before I left, which was really nice. And, uh, yeah, and basically tried to pack for a 10-day trek in climbing a huge mountain, which I've never had to pack or prepare for. Hi, Sophie. It, uh, it's Dave from Archive. Hi. Yes. Hi. I'm on the first floor. All right, cheers. Hi, I'm Dave from Archive, and I'm trekking from Geneva to Chamonix, been climbing Mont Blanc, all for trek stock. Trekstock um, exists to support young people with cancer, um, to support young people through their cancer journey and their life beyond cancer, um, and also to help educate young people to make more informed lifestyle choices to help prevent diseases such as cancer um, from happening. So Trekstock actually started with a trek, um, and I met Alex a couple of years ago to talk about a trekking project that I was leading to Mont Blanc. Um, and through conversations, he introduced me to Archive and to Dave, and they came up with this incredible idea to do this trek. Um, and we're all completely blown away by it and inspired, and I really wish that I was going with them. Have you done anything like this before? Not as extreme as this. No, I've done, like, um, Ben Nevis in sort of, you know, yeah. snowy conditions and stuff like that, but nothing as high or severe as this, so... What did you to do it? I just think it was you get that bug you know what it's like when you do treks and you just get you know it's that buzz of being part of like the whole nature thing and just you'll never do it again once you're there and then now the next event I'm going to do is going to be sea level I know there's something that I cannot shake up today I'm walking the, um, the trail, uh, the GR5, with uh, Alex, uh, Alex Biancoff and, uh, and Louis. Um, yeah, Alex I've known for ever since I joined Archive for 10 years now. He's been tour manager for the group. And he has a, you know, he has a vast amount of knowledge on these kind of things. Uh, and with Louis, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Because um, it would be 
Lou and myself actually going to the summit. Um, so, yeah, we have to... We're building a good relationship, you know, as as friends, because you definitely need that when you're doing something like we're doing. And he has a really good knowledge of um, of mountaineering. He's he's already been to the summit before, and it's a small but yeah, good bunch with a lot of knowledge that I tend to just listen to more than anything. My knowledge is more about stupid things and music related and film, so that's not going to help me that much up on a mountain. <laughs> a bit lost to begin with which was a bit frustrating because you know you just sort of want to get moving but yeah so I was just focusing up front and letting off a bit of steam by sort of pushing myself a bit which I think was good for me because you know you sort of have to do that in a way and I think where I've done a few events where I've had to push myself in the last year building up to this it was good to sort of get in the zone and focus and really plow up some of those steep steep hills through the woods and stuff and it ain't easy, you know. It's so hot. These are made by vehicles, not by humans. And so they have the shape what a car can do, not a human. When you go onto the mountain paths and you're going zig, 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 that's human size, footprint size. These things are made for tractors. I'm really tired and I really want to get my tent up. At the moment I'm standing here and Dave and Louis are kind of rushing ahead because they're really fit and really hard. It's now seven o'clock in the evening. Darkness will be coming down in maybe one hour and a half so I've got to get going, get to the tent, meet the others. I'm really hungry, <laughs> I'm really thirsty as well. There's no water up here but uh, hopefully after a good night's sleep uh, We've got away again. Yep. Around two AM, just all hell broke loose in the way, really. It was big thunder storm rolled in and uh, the rain was quite heavy um, so that was quite an experience to I don't camp often and um, to be wild camping in the you know in, in the mountains with a huge thunderstorm so that was an experience I must say and uh, didn't get that much sleep pretty tired but that's what happens when you take on the wilderness I guess As I'm laying, looking up, the thoughts of my past went deep. With the sharks that wait for me, armies of truth, where have you gone? The words wanted on their heads, lies pay quick to shut you up. Quietness till death you part. The beast runs wild through this town Where I live has fallen down The preacher's drunk and have long gone We are trapped in a box Am I the only one Try to figure a way out to find my way out Nature regulates Is there a call center for choice? 
for decisions being made because I have no say on the way things run today and the cat is back with breath of hell and the children they don't listen well all blinkered dead and blind are we running out of time mother hung over from drink throws herself down the sink watch it all go down slow so show them very good uh, news report here La Syrie Noire, which I think means something like a series of blackness, of accidents on... Disasters or something. Mont Blanc. On, the Mont, on the Mont Blanc, obviously. Something like that. That's frightening, isn't it? Frightening. It is very frightening. But it does make makes me nervous, it, but I think that's a yeah. good thing, you know, to, sh to have a bit of nerves, I think. It is, and, and I think it's also the respect for the mountain. You don't try and charge up it and just for the sake of it, just to get to the top, because it, there's, there's more to it. You've seen yeah. some beautiful things so far mm. on, the, on the trip, and, and, you know, there's always another time. If, if the mm. weather's bad this time, and if, the, you know, it's bad when a, a number of people yeah. have... Um, lost their lives on it, and that just shows you what That's it's it's such a, a big achievement. What we'll be doing, and it, it's not to be laughed at. It's not no. to walk up in the, uh, in the park. to do my final brushing your teeth and putting my socks on, sir. So. OK, all right, cool. Um, I'll come down eat then and yeah. I can grab my bag. I dreamt I had a new house and I had a party and someone threw the toilet in the lounge. <laughs> I think I'd be pretty angry to pull a toilet off a wall. Yeah. Weird thing. See you later. It's been fun. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Good luck today. Yeah. Something caught my eye inside my mind. I tried to find it. Something held my hand that shook my world. I tried to cut it. Record inside my brain, I couldn't stop it. Something took control inside the screen, I couldn't turn it. Oh, 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 yeah. Something stole my soul. Oh, nice. Dernier ici. Yeah. Et vous avez la douche. Douche. Ah. Luxury. Voilà. Wow. wow. That's very modern. Allez, à tout à l'heure. Bonne douche. Okay. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Something in the water changing all the different colors. Stirring up the place with hate. I wish that I could turn it. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. Good day. Cheers. Do know we put Oh, yeah, not too bad. I didn't get a great night's sleep. Quite warm. Um, too warm. Yeah. 
I think I always tend to, when I get a chance in a dormitory or, or the, in the refuge, to be near the window and control the air. Yeah, I didn't have that on until this morning. I had to take it off. It took me about two hours to get to sleep. And then I just woke up every two hours like I had this whole trip. And did I snore much? Yeah. Did I? <laughs> These are a runner's dream. I'm not running, I'm walking. They come about two o'clock in the afternoon. These little babies do the trick. And these are nasty, but they taste great. They're really intense. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Au revoir. Vous savez votre chemin pour partir? This way. And down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Merci, bonne route. Au revoir. Au revoir, bonne journée. Thank you, Hut. Which is rough. He's gone back down to uh, six and he's uh, in a hotel now. Yeah. Um, That's the best place. I said to him this yeah. morning, he said he was going to camp, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I if think you got a virus like that. I think he's in a hotel. Hopefully, he'll be okay for concert. Yeah, well, for the DJ set, yeah. yeah. Friday, party night. Woo! <laughs> that one's alright. Is that you? No, no, definitely. <laughs> Five songs. Well, yeah, that's. But, um, really. I think I'm vindicated for some wounds that way. Red and white marks. Down there. Little one there. Fantastic. Watch out for these roots. You're feeling good? Right. Yeah? Yeah, not What's too the bad. Terrain? Not too bad. Not really good. Nice yeah, walk today. Yeah. Lovely weather. Look at it, it's fantastic. Yeah, of course. We'll put your stage over there yeah. for this evening. Okay. Fantastic. Sounds good. Yeah. All good. Get some tunes on the guy. Excellent. Maybe 100 people for this evening. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And we I thought there'd to... only be about 10. <laughs> <laughs> We met Christoph, who's uh, the guide to take Lou and I up, up to the summit. And I think all of a sudden everything just sort of really came down to this one point when the map came out. And, you know, the maps we've been looking at along here is sort of roads and trails, you know, through the woods. And, and then you just see this and it's just white. <laughs> it's just quite, it's quite very daunting, not quite, it's very daunting to see it. And, Walking four kilometres just here is quite tough, but at that altitude, I have no idea how I'm going to handle it. Um, and it just all sort of came to a head, really. I think with seeing it, and so yeah, I had a bit of a bit of a panic attack back in my hotel room. It just, I think it's a natural thing I've had them before, but it just everything just came out, came out at once. Mm. And we climb to the top. Okay, 4,800 meters. Do you know what the weather conditions are? For the it's a week, forecast? A week away. For the forecast. Normally, we, 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 three days we must do three days. three days before. Is there any risk of avalanche in our, our No, route? here. Here, it's very, very safe. OK. Do we tie in when we are walking? Are we linked in? Link, linked in? How far uh, It, it depends on the ridge. Okay. OK. For the Mont Blanc, yeah. when you have some ridge, uh, it's... Uh, Short. Short, yes. Because uh, if you go down, I must to yeah. stop you quickly. Stop, stop. Yeah. Too quickly, yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs>
Mm. Okay. Uh, I feel more confident now. Mm. No. It's going to be really pretty good feel for it. Good to see you. Good to see you. You, you too. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good night. Yeah, man, I missed you. It's been too long. I've heard you've been, you've been fucking running up these fucking mountains. Yeah, some of them. Some of them. But yeah, it hit me a bit today. I don't know why. We saw the guide and then it was like looking at the map and it's just like, what the fuck am I doing? But yeah, it's, it's going good though. I've seen some amazing, amazing views. Not bad, right? I'm in sleeping well, though. Sleeping's tough, man. Wild camping, two thunderstorms. Oh, it's going to take its toll. Yeah. I think I'm going to have a holiday when I get back. I think I'm going to go to Greece. You fucking need to. <laughs> <laughs> what we got on the front, we got, yeah, everything. Simons, check. We got the check stop. Oh, wow, shit. I thought it was absolutely mental, but. It, you know, Dave likes a challenge when it comes down to it, and he's been making, he's been running and keeping himself fit for quite a while now, and he's, he's really taken it on board to, to make it a, a quest, a proper quest. And I have a lot of respect for that. We, we, me and Dave really enjoy DJing together, and it's when it comes to something like this that he's he's running his ass off trying to you know running up mountains and things, and um, I can't help but come and support. Fucking safe one. I will. Don't do anything stupid. No, I ain't getting in no cars. Yeah, don't hate people. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be in touch when I get back. Yeah, I'll right. let you know. All right, next. Right, let yeah. me know you go. Okay? I will, of course. We stopped here yesterday at the the gig. We walked into mm. there. Uh, we will get to this parking point here, and then we're going to traverse all the way along to Refuge de Font and okay. stay there the night. Right. Slightly yeah, and then that's all we've got left this year with that uh, with archive I have. Yeah, just that one gig. And much with with Birdpin? Yeah, I got a full full tour starting October the 9th. Yeah. Going all the way through and then into November, we'll going to Sweden for the first time. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Bratwurst? Oh yeah. Currywurst. Currywurst. <laughs> when we're in Germany, after a gig, there's the stand. <laughs> it's got to be there's done. There's the paper plate. There's the blob of kind of ketchup and stuff. <laughs> Bang. Don't want to get the last one though. Always a bit risky, isn't it? Yeah. I love the way it, the names of the places and they always have the altitude. You can take photos of them all. It's quite cool. I think it's what people are interested in. Perception. 
yeah, over a week now, been away, and normally I go away a lot, you know, my profession, I go away oh, all the time. And I think it's possibly been, yeah, the hardest time I've been away. Yeah. For many reasons of just, you know, not, not doing anything like this before, of just <coughs> continuous, um, kind of, just the walking and thinking and different surroundings and different environment and sort of I realise just how comfy I am at home these days I guess <laughs> it's like I used to think touring was hard and it's like it's not it's not really it's just I'm, I'm enjoying enjoying it but also it's tough it's like I don't know sometimes I think what I'm doing is just pretty stupid because <laughs> most of my mates didn't, wouldn't do it you know and friends are just like you're mad but it's like I don't know why it's, it's something that has to be done um, you get one life and you got to experience stuff and you got to make the most of it and I think this is going to give me a real you know a real charge for what you know life's about and what why we're here you know and that's all part of it you know it's, you know, putting my body through something I'm not overly used to. I do running, but I do it in short bursts, whereas this is a continuous, you know, endurance, and it's, I haven't even got to the really tough bit yet. So, you know, I'm keeping my mind, trying to, I've got this weird little mantra thing in my head. I've started just saying every day, over and over, when I'm sort of just walking alone, which is sort of, so when I see the mountain, feel the mountain, be the mountain, and it's like, I don't know, some people might think it's a bit naff, but if you can get one little thing in your head that keeps you focused and makes you feel better, more confident about what you're doing, and um, it, it's there every day, and it's good, it's making me feel a bit better, and it's not a holiday, but it's definitely, uh, yeah, there's been some nice, nice moments and some really nice people, what amazes me is how lovely most of the people, pretty much all the people that we've met. When you come from the cities and back in England, everyone's in such their own lanes and no one's, you know, if you say good morning to someone in Southampton, they look at you like you're a freak. It's really annoying. Where it's like, here, you know, it'd be sort of rude not to say hello in a way. And that's that's a nice thing. I think I could do with a bit more of that in the cities. Cheers. Cool. We're starting here from Refuge de Font, where we stayed last night, mm -hmm. uh, in the shadows of uh, Mont Bouet, mm -hmm. there, uh, almost 3,100 metres. Mm -hmm. And we're going to travel from here up to Refuge Alfred de Wills, past Lake de Turn, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I might go for a little uh, swim in, <laughs> and uh, we're heading for the refuge there, mode mm. a turn. And mm -hmm. Oh, mm. <laughs> excellent. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Jesus. That'll get the blood circulating, mate. Louis Pinto. Adventure extraordinaire. I'm impressed. Yeah, so we made a really good time and then thought rather than just hang around, someone had a great idea. <laughs> I had the wonderful idea of running up the hill that we could go for a little jog. <laughs> um, but it was amazing. It was, it was impressive up on this big rock face thing and sort of closer to the Mont Blanc so we could see it. Still seems so far away though. No matter how much close you try to get to it, it just keeps still <laughs> out of reach. Feeling a little feeling of vertigo so far yeah. down, doesn't it? Do you want a base jump? Yeah, well, it could be a quick way down. Um, <laughs> <God. laughs> Come up, we'll get, end up in the Gugier hut. Yeah. Um, where's the Dome de Gugier? There's the Dome de Gugier. Yeah. Actually, my shoulders in that's better. I'm getting quite attached to this bag now. <laughs> Look, he's going to struggle with me in this back at home in bed. Now, if you get so you've got a left hand zip one, you can get right hand zip ones and you can zip them together and have a giant one. I care, I ain't thought of that. <laughs> So you get one big, but you get very hot in a double sleeping bag. Yeah, I'll bet. Good night, John Boy. Oh, hey, yeah. good job. Hi, how you doing? You good? <laughs> and you? Yes, cool. Very good. Okay. We we go to make a round uh, near uh, Colnope. Uh, no, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Right. Okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go on your call, my friend. Your, your harness? Um, I have. It's in my bag. You, do you have a stick? Yep. Yeah. Two or day, this feels like a tube in London. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Jubilee yeah. lines in the sky. And you have a little uh, hitch in the little pitch. The dam anglaise. The English woman. The name. Right. <laughs> Yeah, feeling quite good actually. Um, definitely in good hands, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. And the sun is out, which is good. Uh, the wind sometimes picks up, and you can really feel it, you know. So, but uh, we're all roped in, cramponed up. 
ready to get the training underway and uh, the quest has truly begun today. So, yeah, so. All good. Yeah, it's quite tough. We've been uh, making good progress, I think. Yeah. Learning well, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's just stunning. It's yeah, very stunning. I think yeah, there was some pressure to the build-up. Um, I feel yeah, I feel very confident with Christoph. I feel relaxed. It's uh, there, there are times when you see the crevasses and stuff where it's it's quite just to think about it is quite scary. But where we are is. Um, you know, you put your hands in nature, and that's what we're doing, and it's it's incredible. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait On continue un petit peu J Just here, front camera tool. All right for you As you want. We definitely have to do it, can we? Mm. Ah, yeah. Let's go. Submit. Yeah. Great job. Thank you, doing brilliant. Yeah. It's really bright. So we have great guides, beautiful weather. You, it's well, not too, It's very, very wide. Huh? Yeah. I haven't got much to say right now. I think that's the, well, no, that is the hardest thing I've ever done. Talk to me at the bottom. Huh? I've got something to say. Louis. Dave has some fears there, and he's just overcome them. Oh, that's it. And he's overcome the fears, which is really important, because if you gave up now, it'd be very difficult to get over that. But he's overcome his fears. 
which is a real barrier. Once you've got through that barrier, you can do anything now. Là, on est à peu près à 3400. Donc c'est déjà pas si mal. Yeah. Now we stop here. Yes. Okay. And after we go down. You had never climbed on. Ah, uh, not with crampons. With crampons. Like this. Oh, only scramble. Ah, oui. Today it's a good exercise for tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It's Thank good for you, tomorrow. Thank uh -huh. you very much. And uh, oh yeah. You see the haze first of the Mont Blanc. That was uh, an experience, maybe a little bit out of my league. But Christoph was amazing in helping me and Louis as well. But it feels amazing to know I've done that now. Yeah, you really are in the elements, like I said earlier and really pushing yourself that's harder than any marathon i've oh, yeah. done ever it's another world another world well yeah yesterday i was definitely uh i'd say out of my comfort zone uh, and beyond um you know i sort of you, you get a real sense of who, who you are when you push yourself and I may have that might have been pushing myself just a bit far for me I, it really it was an easy experience on reflection um, it was very very tough psychologically mentally it, yeah it screwed me up a little bit I must say um, at the end of the day I was sort of a singer in a rock and roll band not a mountaineer but I'm here and I have to see this through and I will see it through. Um, don't know if my mind will be able to see it through. But yeah, I'm keeping going on and trying to stay positive about it all and just, I'm in good hands, everyone else is strong. So I've got to just match everyone else and keep going, you know. <laughs> Now we, we climb this spur, yeah. uh, and you, you see there's a little hut on the spur? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, we travel the glacier on the right, and we arrive at Petrus. Okay. Okay? We climb on the snow, we travel the gully, yep. the famous gully of Gully Goutte. Yes. It's mm. uh, dangerous. Okay, cool. Okay? Yep.
Okay, uh, now the little ridge Yes, after the good wait. We've made it to the Gute uh, Refuge. Um, it was a big day. Uh, the climbing and um, the altitude now. Very uh, dry throat. But um, yeah, it was a um, strong day. Today is, uh, it's difficult because mm. you have some time. Yes. Uh, but tomorrow morning it's easier. We go very, very slowly, uh, and you have only snow. Yep. A little bridge, li little bridge, a ridge yep. in the hand, but the track is very good. Okay. okay. Donc, normally, it's good for you. <laughs> The weather is just uh, it's too bad, but um, we've come this far, which is a great achievement, I think, it is for me. Sometimes this is just how it goes, and um, when you're in the hands of professionals, they say no, it's no, that's it. But it's still amazing to have got this far. To me, this is the whole thing's been a summit so far. It's really coming in, so we need to go back down. But. jusqu'à jusqu'au dôme du goûter à 4300 mètres à peu près un tout petit peu moins on était ce qu'on appelle l'épaule du dôme et après on a une grande traversée descendante pour aller au col du dôme et euh, cette traversée là au retour dès qu'on a un petit peu de vent elle, la, la, la trace se passe très très vite hein. et euh, donc euh, on est en plein vent etc et, Ils vont, là, c'était plus sage de redescendre. Voilà, le Mont Blanc, des fois, il veut, des fois, il veut pas. Aujourd'hui, c'était pas un jour avec. 
Donc, euh, voilà, tout le monde a. Mais on n'est pas les seuls, hein, tout le monde a fait tour. Et c'était vraiment la bonne. Euh, la sage décision. Ah bon. Voilà, il faudra revenir. Le moment, il sera toujours là. Today it's like it's so strange back being in a being in a venue and yeah like picking up my guitar and it felt really I felt very relaxed. It's strange because the two worlds are so different in there and it's so manic. And people want to, you know want you to sign stuff and get their picture taken and it's so far removed from being in nature being where we were and just there was so there was none of that it was just you are one with your surroundings now i think life's about you know living and discovering yourself it's just it's an eerie experience it's surreal it's like we stopped and it's just you look and it's just complete darkness but you know you know the edge is there somewhere and you can and as we walk in he's like looking down and there's a crevasse just sort of like where the drain is and it's just it's just a hole and you're this close to it in the pitch black you know walking about this fast and you're like the fuck is that that is that's death they're right there that's the end pocket of death there and you are but you just don't have time to sort of take it all in because you're just concentrating so much on your feet You've got to keep a rhythm going and you guide you know you're all roped up and it's like if Louis goes, there's two of us. If he goes, if the guide goes, Jesus, no, no coming back. You know, these guys are machines, you know. And you just, your life's in their hands and you're putting your life on the line of the, you know, and the elements. And... <laughs> Let's go play some music, yeah? Let's go. Okay. This next song is uh, the text message I sent to all my friends yesterday, and it's called Alive. Everything is long and bright I'm motionless and feeling fried It's scary me All around inside I'm light This taxi ride just don't feel right Thank you.